Let me show you how easy it is to get started with Quagga. There are only two requirements. You should be using the Firefox browser and Gmail. These are free tools along with the Quagga plugin. Go ahead and log into your Gmail account in one tab and open up Quagga.com in your second tab. Your site may differ slightly from this as we're testing uh, variations on our home page. Look for the sign up with your invitation number button. Go ahead and click. And go ahead and enter your Gmail address that you'd like to use with Quagga. Along with your password. And go ahead and enter your Quagga invitation number. If you don't have one, go ahead and use this one. Sign up with your invitation number. This is confirmation now that you've successfully registered this account. You also have links here to our product tutorials, which are also found on our blog, diary.quagga.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter. Go ahead and close this window. I see in the meantime that I have received a new email from Quagga. Let's go ahead and click on this. A reminder that you should be using Firefox and Gmail. Let's go ahead and click on this link to download the plugin. And we click here to download the plugin. Allow. install and restart Firefox. Firefox restarts and we'll then close this window. We can close this window and we'll also close the quagga.com window. And uh, we're in Gmail and now we have this uh, quagga window that opens up asking for your nine digit activation code. So if you're in the threadless view, for example, you can see in the subject the, the code is, uh, is written here. So you'll want to enter that code, which is very specific to you and that Gmail address. So please enter the one that, uh, that you receive from us. Hit OK. And there's a uh, very quick explanation of the layer that Quagga adds to your Gmail. We're not disturbing your current work environment. We're adding uh, a layer on top of, of your Gmail. Uh, and essentially, the um, once the detection and extraction is complete, there'll be a rectangle here which shows the, the type of email that we found. And uh, this rectangle is clickable, which allows you to either perform an action or to view very quickly the critical information within that email. You also sometimes have icons that are displayed here, uh, which you can hover above uh, in order to get information. Uh, for example, telephone numbers uh, can be seen by just hovering above the telephone icon. You also have the possibility of clicking on the what we're calling the pebble, uh, which allows you to, to decide to turn on or off certain layers and also reach uh, your settings. So go ahead and close this window. And we've sent you three emails um, which are uh, a way to show the type of information that we're uh, detecting and extracting and it's also useful information for you. Uh, it describes our privacy policy, uh, our support um, uh, contact details so that you know how to get in touch with us if you have any questions and we also have an invitation uh, to come visit our office if you're in the Paris area. Uh, I'd be happy to, to see you and talk with you uh, about your, uh, your, your email and uh, some of the things you'd like to see from an e email assistant. So it takes some time for the service to be able to process the emails. Once that happens, it comes back um, with um, those special tags and then the Quagga plugin will display them. Any of these rectangles can be clicked upon in order to look at the critical data that's uh, been extracted by, uh, by Quagga. We can also hover above in order to get uh, to the information more quickly. So we see the email information and the URLs that are contained within this, uh, this email. You can turn this off at any time by clicking on the pebble, click off. 
the service continues to run in the background, but it's a way for you to then uh, use your um, your Gmail in a less um, intrusive way. Now you can always search against any of these labels that have been created by uh, Quagga simply by using standard Gmail search. So for example, uh, all of our tags start with KW hyphen and um, going to look and see for the event tag. And there we go. Now over time this becomes very helpful because you can very quickly uh, find uh, those uh, emails that had passwords inside of them, uh, those meeting dates, uh, telephone numbers, etc. And then you can always turn back on the layer if you would like, or you can keep it off. But you always have access to this special window.